Hey my pretties, welcome back. So let me let me say this. This video is so late. <laughs> so 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 late. You guys, I went to the candle day sale at Bath and Body Works. I made it on the last day. So the last day of the sale, I ran to the mall. Uh yeah. And so I purchased some things. It's just been sitting here and I've been so busy and then I was dealing with my allergies and then my nose was stopped up and just a bunch of stuff, you know, yeah. So I have not been able to share with you guys what I picked up and then before the candle day sale, there was the, uh, what, I don't even remember the sale. It was something with the body sprays where it was like, if you buy, I think it was five, you get them for $8 a piece or something like that. So of course for the holidays, I like to always buy like body sprays and stuff like that. Not only just for me, but in case anybody, I mean, they're good to give as gifts to anybody. I could pass them along to my sisters, my mom, my friends, whoever. So $8, <laughs> $8 a bottle. I went ahead and I ordered a few of those as well as some of, oh my goodness, and I have not even opened the boxes to smell them yet, the laundry detergent. Have you guys tried the laundry detergent? So I think I got three bottles of laundry detergent and I cannot wait to open those and smell them. Again, my nose was so messed up, I couldn't even do nothing with none of this stuff. So I was saying all that to say that I have a haul. I'm late and I'm gonna share this all with you guys. I was gonna do it in two two videos, but I don't, I'm not. I'm not. It's just one big bath and body works haul. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here's the bag. I think I'm gonna wait and do the body sprays last. Let's go ahead and do the candles first. I also have this small bag too, so let's take these out first and see what is in here because it's been almost over a week and a half and I don't even remember. Okay, so, and also keep in mind, my daughter was, was with me at the candle day sale, so I think she picked up a couple, I just can't remember which one. Uh, so I got the caramel frappuccino right here, and this is a white barn scent. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like caramel frappuccino, it literally does. Oh, and it's very light and, and you get the, I don't know, like the whipped cream. So the notes on this one is rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, sweet caramel. I hate when I say caramel, or caramel, either way, but sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. That's exactly what this smells like um, with natural es essential oils. They hit this on the head. It smells exactly like it just mentioned all of those notes that's exactly what i'm getting out of here so i'm very happy about that one uh let's see and you know one of the things about candles and going in there and oh the top fell off even with the body the body sprays i can only do so much because i'm in the store and i'm smelling stuff and it's it's you know bath and body work smells amazing but it can become overwhelming it's so many different smells and then if i smell more than I'm going to give myself a limit of like 10 to 12, maybe 12 candles. I'll start getting a headache. Like I can't keep doing it. So I don't even remember how many cents I got, but that was number one. Okay. Number two is Top Shelf Elf. I know this was one of the newer ones. And what I try to do is just get the new, the newer ones um, that I haven't smelled in the past. Because to me, a lot of the scents just come back in different packaging and different, different names. So I try to watch out for that. Now, the top shelf elf is, it says, it didn't even really have notes. <laughs> it says the fragrance notes are billions of toys in just one year yes sometimes even elves need a little boost of energy that's the notes so whatever boosts the elves is the fragrance of this candle i don't even oh okay now i remember why i picked this i cannot put my finger on what this is but it's like it's like a zesty kind of like lime, lemon lime, sugar. 
I don't know. It's it's it doesn't tell you the notes, but that's what I'm getting. If you get if you got top shelf elf, tell me what you think about this and what's the notes that you get out of this. Cause to me, I'm really getting like a lemon lime something fizzy with sweetness. It just smells really really good. I can't wait to burn this to see um, how the how the fragrance is once I burn it. Oh, okay, yeah, this one my daughter chose, the Paris Cafe. Um, this has been around for a minute, but I don't think she ever smelled it. So it's rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla cream. This is a classic, I believe. I think this has been in there for, I don't know, a couple years maybe. Um, but yeah, the Paris Cafe. So I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't know what I don't like about it. Maybe it's the brioche and the, I don't know. It's, it's, I wouldn't even thought my daughter would have chose this because it's kind of strong. Like, why am I whispering? Cause she might come downstairs and she'll hear me say, I don't like it, <laughs> but no, it's kind of strong. It has a really strong coffee scent. Um, it's kind of sweet, but I just would not have thought she would have picked this, but she did. So yeah, she got that. Okay, going into the big bag. This is my all-time favorite. If you've been following me for years in the past at the candle day sale, I picked up so many of these and I burn them. I'll burn them throughout the whole year. They just smell amazing. And it is the hot cocoa and cream. This is still one of my favorites. See, this is like the, the Paris Cafe, but this is like, this is way stronger than this. It almost has the same scent. This is the hot cocoa and cream just gives me more hot cocoa and it's more uh, creamy, sweet, whipped creamy kind of scent. This one is just really strong, like coffee with the whipped cream and all that other stuff. So it's almost the same, but that's hers. This one is mine. Okay, now this one was uh the girl in the store um she said these flew off the shelf and i, I don't remember if i picked up more than one i hope i did because <laughs> the hot pink cocoa i love this it is it smells like it smells like if pink had a color like this shirt this pink like if pink if this shirt could have a fragrance it would smell like this i don't know if that makes sense but it smells pink <laughs> Oh, it's so sweet and you know what it smell like. It just came to me. It smells like sweet tart candies. Is it the sweet tarts? Yep, the sweet tarts. The sweet, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. The notes on this one is sweet ruby chocolate, whipped vanilla cream, raspberries. That's the raspberry scent that I'm getting. Raspberry sprinkles and natural essential oils. Oh, that smells so good. It is so sweet and just so, oh, I love this one. I got to go in this bag because I got that one. I don't know if I picked up any more. I guess I'll be surprised because all the candles still got the paper on them. I did. I did. I was like, I knew I picked up at least two of those because when I opened it in the store, I was like, oh my goodness. So the pink or the hot pink cocoa this year is so far my favorite. Candy Emporium is next. I think in the previous years I was, I jumped on board. They had that little soda collection. It was like this orange soda, the root beer, all of that. I jumped on board with those. They weren't my favorite, um, but of course I wanted to try them out. And so I feel like that with this one as well. I, I, I had higher hopes for this. And even though it didn't wow me in the store, I still brought it home just to see if I was, if it was gonna change my mind once I burned it. Um, but it's the Candy Emporium and the scents are fruit candy, sweet confections, pillowy mints, and natural essential oils. <sighs> I don't get the notes that it read. What I do get, I get a little bit of candy, a little bit of candy. It's not, you know, from, from a person that really loves candy like me, um, it's just, it just didn't wow me. It didn't. So when I burn it, hopefully it changes my mind. But for now, eh, not so, not, this is not a favorite. So not yet, not yet. Okay, so after this one, we got three more candles and then I'll jump into the body sprays. Crunchy English toffee. 
I remember opening this in the store and I thought that this smelled so good. So good. So that's the jar. It has sweet brown sugar, crunchy toffee, dash of vanilla, and the essential oils. Oh, it smells like a Heath candy bar. That's what that smells like. Oh, I love that. And it's not too loud. It's kind of light and it definitely smells like English toffee. So had to get that. The next one is raspberry thumbprint. Again, a new one that I haven't had. Fragrance notes are buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar and oil, essential oils. I'm not, I'm not going to keep, well, we only got two more candles. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not going to keep saying essential oils, but that's what's in here. Oh, this smell good. This reminded me of, I always tell y'all something that, some remind me something of something. This reminds me of growing up. This took me back. It smells very, very good. It took me back to when I was probably five or six and I got that brand new strawberry shortcake doll. The newest strawberry shirt. You remember when them came out? And you opened up the box, what does she smell like? Like a little bit of plastic <laughs> with the sweet, very light, light, sweet strawberries, right? Oh, remember the Purple Pie, what was his name? Purple Pie Man? All of them had little scents to them. But Strawberry Shortcake, hers always stood out to me because she had that very light strawberry scent. Well, this says raspberry, but it just reminded me of her, of the strawberry shortcake doll that I had growing up. Okay, so the strawberry thumb, I mean raspberry thumbprint right here. It smells so good. It's just like, it just makes me think of raspberry straws, strawberries and like a whipped cream. Everything I think I picked up, you guys know I like sweet scents. Uh, everything I picked up has that whipped creamy kind of smell to it. And the last two, now this one, I know I didn't pick this up. This was also my daughter's lavender marshmallow. Love the color, but me and lavender, nope, nope, nope. Don't like lavender scents at all. Gives me a headache. So she picked this. She loves lavender. Um, fluffy marshmallow, touch of lavender, fresh vanilla bean with essential oils. I'm not going to smell it because I know what it smells like. It's a light lavender sweet scent and i just don't want to smell that my daughter picked that so she can take that and then the last one is brioche french toast i heard from the girl in the store that this was also another popular one uh the notes are fluffy brioche toast rich maple syrup a dollop of butter sprinkled with cinnamon and essential oils and it smells like, like a bakery with some really fresh bread with a little bit of sugar or sweetness to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's what I get from it. It, it was nice enough for me to want to try it out. So, and plus she said it was kind of popular. So I was like, let me see what all the hype is about. So we got the brioche French toast. And as you noticed, I didn't get any repeats besides this one, which is my favorite. What did I call What is this? Hot pink cocoa. So that is it for the candles. Now, let me go ahead and pull out these body sprays so I can show you guys what I picked from that sale. Okay, so the body sprays I had ordered online. The boxes at the bottom is the um, laundry detergent. So I went into these sprays. Let me put this box down. Hold on. <laughs> so what I was saying was I went into those sprays blind. Uh, most of them I had never smelled before. So um, yeah, I was just kind of like, like, okay, they're $8. Let me try these out. If I don't like it, I'll give it to somebody or whatever. So that's what we're doing now. The first box is right here. As you can see, everything is still sealed shut. I'm not going to show you the front because it has, uh, what does it say? Some information on the front. But yeah, these are still sealed shut. And so I am excited. I'm going to do the, the laundry detergents before I jump into the body sprays. Like I said, if you've tried the laundry detergents let me know they were also on sale that's the only reason why i went ahead and got them because i think they're normally twenty dollars 
I'm like, what? I, my Tide is a little cheaper than that. But it's Bath and Body Works. And um, I, they were $20. But when I got them on the sale, I think they came out to be about, I think they were like $13 or something like that. So I was like, whatever it was, it was enough of a deal for me to just say, okay, let me try these. So the first one, oh, I'm excited. Oh, it's still, it's sealed shut with another piece of plastic. I gotta cut that off too. So see, I haven't smelled them yet. So this one is pineapple mango. Pineapple mango. So I'm like, okay, that'll be nice for me to wash the sheets and stuff in or the towels. Have everything smelling like pineapple mango. Okay, what is this? A baby proof top? Hold on. And it was a little bit coming out of it. Okay, I was about to say, they got this thing sealed shut. I can't even open it. Okay, so pineapple mango. Mmm, it smells good. It smells just like pineapple mango. <laughs> the question is going to be, or the real test is going to be, when I wash my, my uh, towels and sheets with it to see how the fragrance stays on the garments. It says this bottle washes up to 64 loads, cleans in cold water, squeeze sides of cap. Oh, <laughs> it says squeeze the sides of the cap to twist open. I didn't do that. Okay, so this is 64 small wash loads and it has the line in the cap for you to fill to. Or you could do 32 large loads with this. So, interesting. Very interested in this. Fragrance notes are pineapple juice, tropical mango, and ripe raspberry. So, I'm going to give this a try. Whenever I do wash um, with that, I just washed clothes yesterday too. So, I'm going to have to wait about another couple days. Um, but whenever I do use that, I got to remind myself to maybe do a short and let you guys know what I think about it. Because, I mean, I know these has been around for a little minute. And some people probably have used it. But I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. And like, after I, I'm going to wash some loads of towels and all the different fragrances. And then I'll let you guys know. So, let me open up the next one. That's crazy because I ordered all this stuff. And I don't even remember what I ordered. <sighs> so, how many times I tell you guys I love everything what? Do you know? Did you already say? Peppermint? Peppermint is my favorite favorite everything the the dr meyer i mean the myers brand peppermint house cleaning spray all of that stuff that comes out seasonal at target i didn't stock up so um when i seen that they had the peppermint i think i got two of these i think i did there's two more boxes down there so i said i would love to wash my bed sheets and my towels in peppermint so let's see let me tell you the notes first cool peppermint sugared snow and vanilla buttercream tell me that does not the phone starts ringing hold on but what did i say fragrance notes cool peppermint sugared snow and vanilla buttercream tell me that does not sound amazing speaking of buttercream is it vanilla buttercream that I use? I use the native vanilla buttercream deodorant. <sighs> we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so let's see what this smells like. Mmm, so nice. Very light peppermint. Very light peppermint. I am very, very, very happy with this. And the bottle is so cute. It even has like the little peppermints on it. So cute. So I was happy to get these on sale. I can't wait to try this out. So we got two more of the laundry detergents and I won't be surprised if I have a second peppermint. I don't remember what I got. Or maybe I didn't. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I got this one instead. <laughs> this is Vanilla Bean Noel. So between these two, of course, we know these are going to be seasonal. It's going to make me sad if I fall in love with them. And then they just go away until next year. But I'll be happy enough to try them out. So this one is fresh vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. 
huh it's vanilla it's vanilla oh okay there it is it must have took a minute <laughs> for the the fragrance to come up for me to smell it because at first i was about to say hold on i don't really smell nothing but it does it smells like a really nice light vanilla i got the vanilla cake so this is so cool so so cool okay so the last one is i think i got that um sand paul palo did i get the palo santo i don't know let me see oh this one is a mess Ah, uh, this one is a mess. You see it all out right there. So I'm going to have to go clean this and I'll be right back, you guys. But this one was the Sun Washed Santal. And it is Italian Bergamot, White Violet, and Amber Wood. Um, it's all over my hands. So give me a few minutes, you guys. And I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, so I'm back. And um, let me first of all say this. When I was just wiping that off of the container because I put it under the sink and I had to wash it off real good because it was a mess. Um, this smells so good, you guys. It is the it has a a light, fresh, like outdoor fresh air kind of smell. This is so nice. I still smell it. It's on my hands. Oh my goodness. The Sun Wash Santal, I think, is going to be my favorite. It's the bergamot. It's the bergamot and the amber wood in this that I really love. Um, very, very nice summer fabric <laughs> detergent. Like, you know, oh my goodness. This, this, I'm, a, I'm just like, wow. I'm ready to snatch the sheets off the bed and throw them back in the washing machine. And I just washed them. <laughs> washed them, bleached them, all of that. But I'm ready to use this one. Um, very nice scent. Very nice. I'll have to keep my eyes open on the um, laundry detergents for whenever they're on sale. Because I don't know if I could see myself spending, unless it's just like, just that one that I get and then I just use it for certain things. Um, for $20 for one of these, it is 32 fluid ounces. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. But I guess it's not, it's, it's just one of those things, I guess, where you just kind of spoil yourself. And so... Yeah, so Sun Wash Santal, Santal, uh, Twisted Peppermint, Pineapple Mango, and the Vanilla Bean Noel. If I had to pick my favorites in order, it would definitely be, this would be number one. Yes, believe it or not, over my peppermint. So one, two, I think I'm going to go three with the Vanilla Bean, and Pineapple Mango will be four. Not that I don't like it, but that's just the order I would go in. Okay, so we have nine body sprays, um, one body wash, and one oil mist. So let's get into this. The first thing is pumpkin pecan waffles. Another sweet scent. You guys know I love sweet scents. The notes on this one is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. And it smells exactly like that. <laughs> uh very oh just even smelling that i mean spraying that yep so good so so good and i love these kind of scents right here the sweet because i love to layer them um they don't last long 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 but if you layer them or you put it on right you know put your base on your lotion and stuff like that and then spray this it will last a little longer uh so that's why i get the sweet scents because i like to layer them then um i did purchase the really small jolly gingerbread village i think it was when it first came out what a month or two ago and i had the small one because i didn't know if i was gonna really like it i still do not love it um it's growing on me it's growing on me and i i didn't want it to be two three months down the line and i spray it and i'm just like oh my goodness after it's settled and it sat for a while and i'm just like oh my gosh i love it and now it's gone so i went ahead and ordered the big one the jolly gingerbread village because of that reason the notes are golden gingerbread vanilla icicles and yuletide timber and um yeah it's just what why is it not my favorite <laughs> I 
I don't know. It just smells like a gingerbread cookie. I don't know. It's something else that I've smelled before that smells like this. I think that's why it didn't just wow me. Like the pumpkin waffles, the first one is way sweeter than this one. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to grow on me. Hopefully that'll grow on me. Next is snowflakes and cashmere. And I'm learning that I love not anything but i'm 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 gravitating more towards some of the scents that have the word cashmere in it because it takes it and you guys will see you know what we'll talk about that in the next video because i did order some um body sprays from victoria secrets and they have the word cashmere in it <laughs> but what i was saying was the word cashmere It'll take a scent that you like and it'll kind of bring it down like and it gives it this like powdery soft kind of scent and so the snowflakes in this to me made it kind of sweet because it's vanilla cashmere cream car uh, caramel woods and frosted clementine but that when they threw that cashmere in there it softened it a little bit that powdery soft scent that I like and so that's that's what I was thinking when I chose this and then when I got it I just fell in love with it you guys the how it says icicles I didn't know icicles had a scent because this smell like some real cold ice hanging off the side of a building or a house and it drop and it's and it, you got a little in your mouth and it tastes like sugar <laughs> it's this got a lot going on, but it smells so good. I love this scent. I love this. I should have got another one. I might I might have to order another one before they sell out. Snowflakes and cashmere right now is my favorite um, on this table. And then I got the strawberry snowflakes thinking about that same one. Like, oh, strawberry. Okay. And I love strawberry scents. Juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. They should have added cashmere to this. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this one is not my favorite. This one is not my favorite. Although I love strawberry scents, this kind of just reminds me of the strawberry pound cake that they had recently. However, the strawberry in this is not strawberry in like it's supposed to. That ain't even a word, but we're using it. And it's just like more of an alcohol scent it's the strawberry is there but it's it's not it's not like how i like so if my daughter likes this she can have it otherwise i'll keep it i don't know i don't know that's not my favorite okay bright christmas morning right here again these were all blind buys didn't know what they were going to smell like red right ripe red berries blood orange and crisp apple not a big fan of artificial apple scents because they just make me make my stomach i don't know it just i don't like it <laughs> i was gonna do tmi but i <laughs> um anyways okay let's 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 smell this okay so the this one is doable this one is more like a summer scent to me and that's that's what i'm getting even though it's called bright christmas morning um this is giving me feel like something's hair i mean something was on my lip this one is giving me summer not christmas because what's strong in here is the blood orange it's it's that's what i get first and then a little bit of the berries and a little tiny bit of the crisp the crispness of the apples <laughs> um yeah so that this one is, I don't know, kind of a little misleading. It's a little misleading because it says Christmas. But to me, I mean, you might like it for Christmas or in the winter. It could be a winter scent, definitely. But for me, I just see this more in the, in the spring and the summer, a little summer dress. Spray this on and smell like blood oranges. And, you know, when you do your lemons and you're wearing your Dolce, your light blue, and you smell like lemon and all that, you know, that's, that is what that reminds me of. Okay. So dark kiss right here and the notes on this is black raspberry burgundy rose bergamot incense dark vanilla bean and plum musk this had a lot of notes in it and I was very intrigued by that so okay 
very musky very musky but it's a light not even a sweet musk i don't know what did it say it's definitely giving me incense <laughs> i get the incense plum musk a little plum musk i don't smell vanilla bean maybe no not even black raspberry or burgundy rose i really just get the bergamot incense and a little bit of a plum musk yeah i don't know i'd have to put this on and see how it dried down throughout the day um so far this one and the strawberry one are not my favorites so yeah okay vanilla bean we all know what that smells like vanilla bean is a classic i love vanilla bean um since oof that was a strong alcohol that first whoo that first whiff was nothing but alcohol but we know what vanilla bean smells like but in case you don't it's fresh vanilla bean warm uh caramel sugar cookies whipped cream and snow kissed snow kissed musk so i didn't know something musky could be snow kissed <laughs> anyways um yeah vanilla bean always like that one uh golden berry mistletoe right here the notes are sparkling berries sugared spruce and frosted air okay frosted air hmm yeah i like this one too it's giving me that fresh scent again like the snowflakes cashmere um it's giving me that fresh scent with a little bit of the sweetness of the berries um a little bit of a little tiny bit of the spruce not too much so yeah we'll have to give that one a try um see how i like that later on and pretty as a peach i had the pretty as a peach in the past um and so i just wanted to repurchase this one mm-hmm yeah that's it still smells the same it reminds me of peach jolly ranchers which you guys know is one of my favorite candies uh blushing peach jasmine petals white nectarine apple blossom um in this one you definitely get the white nectarine and the peach the jasmine too that's what you get so that's that okay now the last two items are um these right here and this is something more of a self-care thing for me and i've talked about it before i've talked about it multiple times multiple times about citrus i tell you guys how important it is um for me not i mean if you like citrus scents too but if you are looking for a way like say you just got you just having one of those days and i promise you listen to me okay if you having a rough day and it's just one of them days where you just like oh my god like why is all of this happening today you know like just that 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 kind of day right and you just need a warm shower hot shower you need to unwind relax or you wake up feeling that way use this one use this you guys i promise you you will not be let down the orange ginger anything that is citrus um uh, the essential oils, orange, anything. Sometimes I'll take the essential oil, the orange, and I'll rub it on my temples. I may even take a little tiny dab and rub it under my nose so that it can stay with me because something about the orange scent, the citrus scent, it calms me immediately, like immediately. And it just, it helps relax. It, it does. Yes. So if you can get you a citrus candle, get you this or this these two go hand in hand for me shower get out spray the room spray the house and this is the recharge orange and ginger essential oil mist uh with vitamin e and aloe and then not only you can use this to spray it in the house you can spray this on your body if you want to uh it says use as a fragrant body spray a shower mist or freshen up your pillows and linen so you can spray this on everything if you like because it is essential oil and I'm telling you you need this this is your relax starter kit right here 
right here and this ain't sponsored i'm just being honest with you guys no seriously all jokes aside try it out um you won't be sorry uh especially if you need a way to unwind <sighs> so that's it i need to spray this right now <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's like a spa. It's just a, it's so nice. I love that. So, so, so nice. Um, so yeah, you guys, that is it for my Bath and Body Works haul. I am, I mean, you guys didn't even know, but I was going to say, I'm so sorry. It took so long for me to, um, share this with you guys. Some of you guys did know, cause I posted a picture when I went to the store, I put it in my, did I put that in my community tab? I don't know. I showed when I was outside of the store, um, and I posted a picture of my bag. So it's been about, it's been over a week. Um, but like I said, it's just, I could not get to this haul. I do have two, is it one more haul? I have another haul that I have to share with you guys. I'm not going to film it today, maybe tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I got some goodies to share with you guys, uh, from other stores. I think I got some TJ Maxx. What else I got? Victoria's Secrets. And, oh, I forgot I have this little thing. I ordered him too. The little pocket back thing, the little sushi. I think I was going to get this to my daughter. I don't know if she wants it, but I always try to get the cute little pocket backs. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah. So that's it. Um, in my other haul, it's just a few other items and stuff like that so thank you for watching leave your comments down below uh did you get any candles what's your favorite scent right now did you try the laundry detergent do you love it do you hate it uh and what do you think about any of the scents that i got and are you going to try this i know i asked a lot answer what you can and um i'll be looking down there to see what you guys say so let me clean up this mess and i'll see you all real soon in my next video. Okay, bye you guys.